Conversations. Conversations with with S D Booker. Booker. All right. Now switching gears, I talk. Well, I want to say I talk about this a lot, but I do uh, talk about the female and male dynamic mm-hmm. uh, of biology and history, science, uh, the the glory of that, uh, the complications, our confusion of it, the struggles. And most recently, maybe uh, maybe a few weeks ago, I touched on how the man and woman, the male and the female, come together and can manifest. I compared the manifestation of ideals and thoughts uh, in the man and woman coming together to them coming together and creating a child. And I actually got a lot of that information after speaking to you. Uh, you you uh, reinforced or confirmed some thoughts I had it actually gave you some clarity. And uh, I think I shouted you out in that video, I believe. But uh, can we can we go into that? Because I think that's the number one problem in the world is the male and the female, man and woman, coinciding, getting along, thriving together, uh, knowing our roles, accepting them, and, and uh, flourishing. Can Can you get into that? I would absolutely love to. I couldn't agree with you more because I believe, and I just shared this with somebody just just about an hour ago that we were discussing, and I shared with them that I believe that until we fix the male-female dynamic, nothing else is going to correct on this planet. I believe it's the root of everything because it's the life, it's life itself. It's life force. And, and, you know, through all these struggles, all these years of, you know, learning, going through stuff, one thing I found that never fails is nature. You can always look at nature and find a comparison. When you're looking for an answer on something that culturally or society is looking, you always go and look at nature. Nature doesn't lie. So when you look at the male-female dynamic in nature, it's very, very interesting. And there's a lot of different analogies you can find there because, for example, the earth is a female energy. The sun is a male energy. Yeah. So you see how the earth works. The, the earth needs the sun to wrap it, wrap her in its rays to shine on her before it can grow plants and, and greenery and anything. Yes. But the, the sun, if it was shining on an earth that didn't grow anything, what would be the use of the sun? All right. Yeah. So it's the same with the f- female and male. I believe they need each other so badly because the female, the womb is where all the life force energy on the planet is coming through. It's not coming from anywhere else. The womb is where it's connected to the universal power source. That's why every one of us can only enter the earth through the womb. Wow. Wow. So when you, when you look at the child in the womb and I'm a midwife, so this is just fascinating to me. I love this. (laughs) But when you look at the child in the womb, every child that's conceived is a girl, every child. It's not till a certain point in the pregnancy where if it's going to be a male, the testosterone comes in and destroys 50% of the, what they call the neurons in a certain area and replaces them with testosterone, which is a protective substance. So the neurons leaving 100% of them is the intuitive But then when it's replaced with 50% of the testosterone, that's the protection. That's literally the protective force that protects the vulnerability of the neurons. So the soul, our soul comes in through the umbilical cord, every one of us. Solar plexus. Look at your navels called the solar plexus because that's where your soul comes in. After you're an adult or any after, after you're born, all energy comes in through your navel. That's why when something bad happens, you feel like you got punched in the gut. All the energy comes in that way. So, so, you know, you see a lot of things. You see, like you were saying, the dynamic. You see women saying, oh, men are just, oh, they're just no good. You know, they're this, they're that, they're the other thing. And then you hear men say, oh, women, they're just trying to steal your energy. They're just trying, you know, all these, you know, all these scenarios. All right. But if we really if, if we really understood what was happening, I think we could fix that because we need each other so bad. We couldn't have one without the other ever. Right. 
there's not going to be a woman on this earth without a man, or there's not going to be a man without a woman. So we better get our stuff together. <laughs> you right. know, right. <laughs> it's time. So, yeah. so when you look at it, the, and just, just speaking from a perspective of uh, a feminine perspective, I feel, and, and again, I know that it's not the same for everybody because, you know, not everybody grew up in the same circumstances, but me being able to be out in nature as much as I was and connecting with nature, it kind of let the flow, it flow naturally, I believe what, what, how it should, but, but literally I'll feel energy 24 seven pulsing, coming into my head and up through my feet at the same time. So you literally in your body feel this swirl of, of life force energy all the time. And for me, now I know, um, and okay, we'll get into this later. For me, if I can't do something to assist somebody, it builds up in my body and literally can make me sick. Wow, that's interesting. It's interesting because I touched that's on the, that. I, I call it, yep, yeah, I call that the force. There's nothing, no other word. And when you're birthing a child, which I've, I've birthed uh, 10 live and one that was stillborn, when you're birthing a child, it magnifies that force a thousand percent. You literally feel like the whole universe is coming through your body. Wow. wow. So that's the energy. Now, now, your energy can come out of your solar plexus as a positive spin going clockwise. Remember, clockwise spin of energy is always the healing energy. That's what a healthy cell has a, a, a clockwise spin. Now, the solar plexus is always going to be spinning one way or the other. When you have cancer or a disease of any kind, your cells go into a counterclockwise spin. The counterclockwise spin always sucks life force energy out of you. Now you can compare this to the earth. Look at the big vortexes. You know, Phoenix, Arizona is one of the biggest known uh, vortexes on the planet, right. right? And that's because it has the, the clockwise spin. Now, when a dark energy takes over any, any, any energy can be taken over by dark or light. The light is our natural state. But any, like, like, for example, trauma, trauma to a small girl or somebody like that. So now this girl's always going to have that same life force energy pouring through her. Right. But the, the spin can be reversed. It took me a while to understand what was happening. Again, I had to go to nature and I had to look at the vortexes because what, what they have found in science is that the vortexes, you know, naturally would have a clockwise healing spin. But dark energies literally can take over those forces and, and reverse the spin to counterclockwise. And then that area becomes very poor, very the people are sick, things like that. That's a counterclockwise spin. Wow. wow. And so things like that happen, you know, there's 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 uh, rounds that we don't see, but they're still there. The the Native American and different tribes, all the native tribes around the world knew this. They would do regularly do rain dances and things like that. Their whole purpose was to get that energy to spin the clockwise way. So, so you know, so, okay, go, go ahead. ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. So, in, in, let, let's just say you have um, a female body now, which is the same as the earth. Now, now you literally can, if if the energy is is spinning the way it's supposed to, which is clockwise you literally as a man are a container for that energy it's coming outward you literally your job is to literally take that energy and direct it direct it in a positive way because i feel the energy all the time 24 7 but unless i have a male energy to bounce it off of i can't direct it properly it's it's fragmented the only way I can is if the, the only way I can now, now you can, because we both have male and female, but to right. do that, if you want to direct it, you literally have to go into your masculine energy. And then it's counterproductive because when you go into your masculine energy at the same time, you lose the intuition. So now, now uh, you, you know, it can be destructive. It can be a destructive force. Wow. 